Hi, this is Ruth Ann. Welcome back to my channel. This is a video where I'm going to briefly cover the fragrances that I've worn this week and let you know what I thought of them. So I'm just going to get started with Banana Republic W. This is one of their women's fragrances. I'm just going to adjust here for the light a little bit. Okay, there we go. So this is a pink floral with a lot of fresh notes. So it's kind of romantic, aqueous, pink. It's got clementine, lily of the valley, and musk. It's very pretty, very feminine, and I really enjoy it. It's very simple, easy wear. Next up, I have Elizabeth Arden Bluegrass. This is an underappreciated, underloved white floral with um, some green notes in it. It's very complex. When you first spray it, you realize you're putting on something that's really, really good quality, even though it's not very expensive. It's very distinctive. It does have some clove and spice spices in the note profile. However, that does not come out predominantly. It's just something there to give character and depth. Lasts a good six hours and really, really stunningly underrated beauty, in my opinion. Next, I have... A, another criminally underrated fragrance. This is by Oscar de la Renta. This is called Volupte. This was developed by Sofia Grosman. I think of this as a peach bomb. However, it does not have peach officially in the notes. This is uh, has notes of mimosa, melon, freesia, orange. It's a very complex yellow floral. Uh, however, it really comes across as a peach accord, in my opinion. Lasts a good six to eight hours, and it's been compared to uh, Lancôme Trésor. I'm not familiar with that fragrance, but this one I will usually wear, binge wear, for two to three days at a time. And once I start it, I can't stop because I'm addicted to it, and it's absolutely beautiful. And um, I hope to always have this in my collection. Not very expensive. If you have a chance to try it, I highly, highly recommend it. Next up, I have Avon. This is a part of their Classics Collection, Night Magic. This is a very basic fragrance, and it's just baby powder with musk. Very easy wear, very feminine. If you like baby powder, this is a very um, inexpensive doesn't last very long though, maybe four hours max. Just reapply it frequently. Next, I have a, another bargain. This is Revlon Jean Tu. This is another happy, clappy yellow floral, very well blended, very beautiful, but it does have a note of sage, which gives it a little bit of an her herbal, but it's more like a fresh herbal outdoor kind of a, a quality, not baking sage, but just really stunningly beautiful. Gives it some beauty, depth, and uniqueness. And I highly recommend this. Not very expensive, but lasts a good six hours. Next up, I have two fragrances that I wore for date night. This is Chanel's Cristal. This is one that I just received not long ago for an anniversary present. This is a Citrus Chipra. When you first spray it, it's a blast of aldehydes with citrus notes, and then it dries down to a beautiful sheep or oak moss, earthy, just absolutely beautiful. This is the EDT. I believe the EDP has been discontinued. And lasts a good four to six hours, and I wore this with a uh, inspired by lotion that um, made it last even longer and it was just really stunning. I felt like pure class when I was on my date. And my last one here for you is another Chanel. This is this always vies for the top of my very for my very 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 favorite perfume. So this is a green floral aldehyde. And when you first spray this it is it smells like you have a bouquet of long stem flowers, a mixture of flowers, and you cut the stems with a very sharp knife. And that burst of green that hits your nose mixed with the florals is what this smells like on the opening. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. And then after that, the florals come in. And it's just absolutely beautiful. There's a little bit of a soapiness in the dry down, but it's the most luxurious French milled soap you could imagine. 
This is easily the number one compliment getter in my collection. It's my husband's favorite perfume. Every time I wear it, he says, oh, you smell beautiful, pure class, beautiful, and I hope it never goes away. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.